and welcome back. Our fr film critic Scott Birmingham joins us now, as he does on our Fridays here at Mornings on Fox 11, to take a look at the box office. Let's do just that, looking at the box office numbers for the week. At number three, we have Maze Runner, The Scorch Trials, making $14 million. At number two, a new entry, The Intern, does $18 million. And at number one, another new entry, the animated sequel, Hotel Transylvania 2, draws in $47 million. Let's take a quick look at the number two movie in the country, The Intern. So you're on Facebook, huh? Well, I've been trying to figure it out. I joined about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> well, I'm better late than never. You want some help? I'd, I'd love some, but really, you've got better things to do. No, I need a diversion. Two-time Oscar winner Robert De Niro, one of my favorite actors, plays 70-year-old nice widow Ben Whitaker, a retiree who, fi who finds retirement not really all that it's cracked up to be. Okay. He applies for and lands a position at an online fashion uh, site as an intern. I really thought this movie might be a bit on the goofy side with that kind of a storyline, but I was pleasantly surprised. Oscar winner Anne Hathaway plays Jules Austin, who's the founder of the company and has no time for this new intern, which proves for an interesting dynamics and storytelling. The casting of these two really makes the movie fun, poignant, and at times intimate, as we learn a bit about both of them in a world where we do judge others by their outside appearances. The movie addresses working women and seniors who do come with a lot of experience and life lessons. Yeah, it's not a perfect movie, but it is worth catching, especially if you have a parent and a retired one. I give it three out of four stars. Mm, I really want to see that one. How about some of the upcoming releases for this weekend? On the DVD, Netflix, and DirecTV front, we have the comedy Entourage with Adrian Grenier and Kevin Connolly, based on the show that ran for eight seasons on HBO. The film came out this summer. Another comedy that came out this summer was Spy with Melissa McCarthy. It's now also available. And the thriller that no one heard of, a Cop Car with hmm. Kevin Bacon, is out. <laughs> Maybe that's the one to check out this weekend. <laughs> All right, so what can we look forward to this week? Or next week coming up. Next week, we're going to check out Matt Damon in Ridley Scott's film, The Martian. Ooh, my husband's going to go see that. He said, he's like, I cannot wait. That looks like a really good That's one. It's a good two and a half hour film, so I'm Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll let you know what he said. Yeah. <laughs> All right, if you'd like to get a hold of Scotty, you can do that by finding him online. Yes. All right, Jennifer Lawrence is showing us a hidden talent. Plus, could the Honey Boo Boo crew be starting a new dance craze? Hmm, and Selena admits her shortcomings. Marie Maloney explains in today's Hollywood Minute. I'm on a 14 case. I'm 14 case. Selena Gomez may sing about being good for you, but she told Flair magazine that she doesn't think she's the best singer.